Yeah. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. As y'all can see, we got Vader jacked up on the jack stands right now. Both front wheels are off. And you may be wondering, J.I., what are you doing? But then again, you see the title and the thumbnail, and it says that we're working on weight reduction for Vader, so... We're working on weight reduction for Vader. That being said, y'all, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, get this video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this bang. All right, y'all, so basically, man, um, right now we are working on getting the front sway bar off of the car. And also we're gonna be taking off the under tray as well. Um, just trying to shave as much weight as possible without, you know, pulling the freaking carpet or taking the door carts off and all of that stuff. At the end of the day, it's still a street car. So we wanna keep as many parts that help with drivability as possible. At the end of the day, like I said, it is a street car. So I'm not trying to have no freaking bucket for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I really like, actually care about how this car looks. I love how it drives. I love the interior. So at the end of the day, we want to keep the drivability at 100%. But we also want to make the performance be 100% too. So, you know, sometimes you got to give and take. So that being said, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and fill you guys in to this vlog. And then we'll get all the way up into the current part. So that being said, let's go ahead and run to Harbor Freight and get some jack stands because your boy doesn't have it. Right, so these are them joints right here. I'm going to go ahead and cash out. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, we are back in the JIHQ. You guys are now up to speed. So basically, we went down to Harbor Freight and we picked up these Pittsburgh three ton jack, jack stands. Um, it was two of them for 50 bucks. You can't really beat it. Um, so already back at the crib, the jack stands are on the car. The car is in the air as you guys seen, but what you guys haven't seen is this. All right, y'all, so don't judge me for how dirty the garage is right now. It's, it's low key a mess, but it is what it is. So we've got the back seats right here. We've got the passenger seat right there. And then if you look, we've already got the under tray off of the car. Now that you guys are caught up to speed, I can bring you all to my very, very sad <laughs> dilemma. Okay, let me grab a flashlight real quick. So basically, we've got everything off like I told y'all. And as y'all can see right here, this is going to be your sway bar end link, this whole rod. Now, on the inside of the sway bar end link is going to be the nut that is holding on to the stud that keeps the sway bar end link in place which in turn connects the sway bar end link to the sway bar itself now as you guys can see this area right here between the lower control arm and the actual sway bar end link bolt itself is such a small space that when you go to try to put a socket on there you can't literally because you need a deep socket to even get to the nut itself because the stud is extended. And then on top of that, you would have to use a ratchet. You're not gonna be able to get the ratchet on the socket and then get the socket onto the bolt to get the bolt off. So that being said, you need a wrench. Well, guess what JI doesn't have? A 18 millimeter wrench, bro. I have every wrench but the 18. So right now we're waiting on our boy Frankie to pull up on us with the wrench so we can go ahead and get this boat off because we're trying to go to the track tonight. It's literally open already. It opened at 6.30. I'm trying to get, trying to get this car down the eighth mile and see how fast we can get this car, man. So we're gonna see. Many unbearable hours later. All right, y'all, there we have it. Sway bar is finally removed, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When you're disconnecting your end links, you are going to need a Allen key to hold the stud while you use a 18 millimeter wrench and go ahead and remove the nut. So 
just to let y'all know, like, you do need an Allen key. I can't remember exactly what size it was, bro, but I know you need an Allen key. So now we are finally done, bro. I can put the wheels back on the car. Go ahead and put the car back on the ground. I've got my sway bar end links zip tied to the actual strut so that they're not just dangling. And then I have the plastic covers also zip tied as well. So they're not just dangling and catching the air while we're going down the track. So like I said, guys, I'm about to go ahead and work on getting the HQ cleaned up because it is a complete mess right now. And we still have an hour and a half to drive to the track. So I gotta hurry up and clean this up, man. I'm actually probably gonna end this video here. So if you're new to the channel, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. This sway bar really feels like a cool, like four, maybe five pounds. So hopefully all of this work was worth it and we get that six, nine today in the eighth mile or seven, oh, that's what we're looking for. Hopefully we get it. Yerp. All right, y'all. So as y'all can tell, I'm definitely interrupting this video. And no, it's not what you think. No, I did not not record an outro. I actually did record an outro and it's going to play after this clip. I'm actually stopping this video because I peeped. There's a couple things that I didn't like tell you guys about doing this job for real, for real. Just because in the heat of the moment, trying to record all of that stuff and rushing to do the job to be able to make it to the track in time i was just moving hella fast bro like i wasn't really thinking about filming and recording so first and foremost i want to apologize for that um there's a lot of stuff that you guys were supposed to see and didn't see i should have put on the gopro on the head mount and just been recording my whole pov while i was working on the car but like i said i was trying to hurry up and get it finished and get it done so i could get out to the track now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into what you guys should be like aware of when doing something like this. So basically, bro, if you're gonna be doing this job on the floor like I did, bro, one of the first issues that you're gonna have is finding a place to put the jack stand while jacking the car up. If you have ZL1 side skirts, if you have ZL1 side skirts extensions, then yeah, bro, you're gonna have an issue. See, me personally, I was running to this issue so much. It was really, really hard for me to be able to put the jack stand in a secure spot, which would allow the car to stay, you know, supported while it's in the air. So that being said, bro, the ZL1 side skirts actually covered the pinch welds underneath your car. So if you guys are new to this kind of stuff, you haven't really worked on your own car, a pinch weld is where you want to jack the car up from. There's two locations on the vehicle on either side that GM leaves open for you to use. There's one right behind the front wheel and then there's one right in front of the rear wheel. That being said, you definitely, definitely, definitely are gonna have some issues if you have that side skirt because the side skirt, carbon fiber. And if you know a carbon fiber piece for your car is a molding that was made off of the real deal thing. So nine times out of 10, even though it's a molding, basically a carbon copy of the OEM part, not every piece is gonna fit like an OEM part. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, you might have cutouts that are smaller than they were on the OEM piece or cutouts that are larger than they were on the OEM piece. And with the ZL1 side skirts from EOS, you definitely are going to have, you'll see, it covers the pinch well to where you have to jack the jack up a little bit and then lower it back down and pull it towards yourself so that it gets into that little pocket. And then you jack it up and it's going to make contact with the pinch well. But when you're doing it with a jack stand and you've already got the jack in place of the pinch wheel, that's when you have an issue. So what I did was I jacked the car up, then I took, <laughs> shit's crazy. I jacked the car up, took the wheel off, and then I kind of just examined where I could possibly put the jack stand, bro. I found a place that was like kind of like bare chassis, and that's what I went with. I put the jack stand right there then i realized damn it how am i gonna do the other side so i ended up being able to finesse and 
jack the car up from the frame itself and then slide it was a lot and then slide the jack stand underneath the pinch weld therefore holding the car in the air safely so i could work on it now um another thing that i need to tell you guys that i did touch on was that allen key that you're gonna need bro trust me do not go at it with two wrenches like you normally would do on a sway bar ending. It's not going to work, bro. The nut is just going to spin around and the stud is going to spin too. So you're going to have to use that Allen key to hold it in place. And then you can go ahead and loosen the bolt and get it off of the car. So another and final thing that I will mention to you all that you are going to need to be aware of. The sway bar itself, once you get all the screws and everything out and it's completely disconnected, it's still going to be a pain in the butt to get the sway bar from underneath the car, even though it's not connected. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to fish it through the passenger side. It is going to take a little bit of elbow grease, but you will be able to do it. So just, you know, kind of shimmy it a little bit. You're going to scratch up the sway bar you're gonna scratch up your um lower control arm as well but it will come out i didn't think it would shout out to my boy rk he told me what to do and we got it out also if you guys are new do your boy a favor and hit the subscribe button right now we are on the road to 10k we just hit 6.6k man so i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart Let me go ahead and finish cleaning this stuff up. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.